Hey everybody, this is Pastor David from Walden Community Church. You probably remember a song from a while back. I remember it from my childhood. It was called, Take This Job and Shove It. Remember that? I only think of that because it was actually earlier this month that my family and I, we were out to dinner and our waiter quit his job in the middle of our service, in the middle of our order. Now, it wasn't anything <laughs> because of us. It wasn't because of us. I think he was just having a bad day. But, you know, people quit lots of things. People quit, people quit their jobs. People quit their marriages. Sometimes people quit their kids. And uh, sometimes people quit life. We can quit for a lot of reasons. Throw in the towel, just give up, say, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm over this. This isn't my problem anymore. I'm out. You might have noticed that I'm all dressed up. I'm wearing a suit. It's because we're hosting a memorial service today for a very prominent lady who lived here in Walden. And I think sometimes even death can just come at us as a total surprise, right? It comes out of the blue and it just feels like not only is it one more thing on top of our already busy, already hectic lives, but sometimes I think it's just one of those things that just makes us want to quit. Just shut down, say, you know what? I'm out. I'm over it. I can't do this. I can't handle this. It's too much. I can't get past this, this obstacle. Death has a way of doing that sometimes. This Sunday at Walden Church, we're actually going to start a brand new series. Um, we're going to start looking at the book of Ruth and we're going to read the book of Ruth for our Lent series as we prepare ourselves for Easter, prepare ourselves for the cross. And one of the things we're going to see in this very first chapter with Ruth is even though logic might have said to her to take a different path or to go a different way or even to quit because everybody around her was quitting, she had uh, just experienced her own uh, issues with death in her family. She doesn't quit. She hangs in there. And I'll just give you, I'll just give you a spoiler for the lesson on Sunday. I'm going to just say from the pulpit, don't quit. Don't quit. Hang in there. Persevere. You will get through this. And even if I don't see you this Sunday, let me just offer to you those same words of encouragement. Don't quit. You can do this. You can persevere. You can get past this. And your God, your Father in heaven says that he wants to help you. He wants to shoulder that burden with you. He wants to walk with you. He wants to be your strength when you have no strength. That's what a church is. A church is a community of believers who often say, I can't do this by myself. And so we walk together. We walk together as a community. This Sunday we have two services, one at 9.30 with our choir and our 11 o'clock service with our full children's program and contemporary worship band. We hope to see you guys there. Have a great week.